Hello, this is Ann Evenson, our District Reading Language Arts Specialist. On September 1st, writing team members met with your grade levels to share the report card, the priorities, and some assessment ideas. We know that our time was short and we gave you many documents. Today we want to give you some time to go over those materials. You should have a three ring binder from September 1st. The information from this binder is also available through the District U Drive. Today we'll share a brief navigation guide to finding these things online, as well as updating you on our recent assessment work. You can find your grade level report card and assessment information on the District U Drive. The directions to the District Lang Reading Language Arts folder are at the top of your handout. Each grade level is organized the same way. Let's look at grade 3 as an example. When you open the Grade 3 folder, you will find a folder called Grade 3 Report Card 9111. This is where all the information from your grade level will be housed. Once you click on the Report Card folder, this is the menu that will appear. It's the same for every grade level. Let's walk through what you can find in each folder. The first folder is divided into two sections. The first has a teacher's copy of the report card that has the reading language arts standards aligned with the reporting standards. Along the right hand side are the state standard codes. Yellow means it will be tested on the MCA 3's according to draft test specs. And purple is additional priority standards. The second folder includes a scan of important information shared with you last September 1st. Included in this packet is a table of contents to help you find the assessments that writing teams began last summer. Next, you have a copy of the anchor standards. These are the big ideas that run through kindergarten through grade 12, and they're the organizing threads that run throughout each grade level. The next section of your binder has the MCA3 draft test specs for your grade level. This offers important information on which standards will be tested. The next set of folders exactly matches the categories on the report card. The first section addresses whether a student reads grade level text independently. You can see that this is divided into three parts. The first section contains rubrics for trimester 1, 2, and 3. The rubric indicates where a student should be if they're reading at grade level. The rubric includes multiple data points to guide our understanding of this reporting standard. No one assessment can fully capture this, which is why it's helpful to look at multiple indicators. The BFALS, or Books for All Learners document, includes a list of the reading difficulty level for all the trophies books. Teachers have found this very helpful in matching texts to readers. I've placed a star next to the BFALS that have running record assessments. We have running records for you to use every marking period using a BFALL text that is below, on level, and above level. Again, this can help you to see where a student is reading at the end of each trimester. The writing teams organize the sample assessments by looking at each reporting standard you need to mark and asking, how do we know if a student can read grade level text independently, for instance? Included in this section, the team collected and wrote material to help you answer this question. The next reporting standards are comprehension and informational text. Each reporting standard asks the question, how do we know if a student can? The informa informational strategy standard has a set of possible assessments that can be used in various ways, in an individual classroom, a grade level, or a PLC. These can be used as formative or summative depending on the needs of the teacher. The Comprehension Strategy section does the same thing, offering the teachers some assessments that they can use flexibly throughout the year. Vocabulary and word analysis includes two sections. The first answers the question, how do we know if a student applies phonics skills to decode words, with sample assessments included. Vocabulary strategies are assessed with the next set of documents. The important thing to know is that writing teams worked last summer to provide you with some ideas to help you assess the reporting standards. 
The last section in your U Drive report card folder is called miscellaneous. One set was given per school on September 1st. So if you do not have a copy, know that you can access all of these documents on the U Drive. In the miscellaneous section, you'll find a chart called Trophies Aligned with Standards. This chart includes which reading language arts standards are taught for each story and trophies. It's very important that we teach these standards well when they come up in our instructional sequence. So this information is important to know. You will also find a summary document called Trophies and Standards Gap Analysis. This sheet can help you to know how frequently standards are taught in trophies. So if you find a high number under the standard, you know that this standard is addressed often in trophies. And when you see a low number, you know that this is a standard that we'll have to make sure to teach, since it's not taught often in the regular reading series. Dibbles Next is another helpful site. We've included the free access to these materials along with some sample assessments. It's the updated version of Dibbles, and it includes some new components such as maze comprehension tests. It's well worth checking out. Another very useful site is EasyCBM. You will find the free sign-in information on this cover sheet also. We have included some sample tests and some passages that have comprehension questions after them. You may want to try some of these individually or as a grade level. The final thing in the miscellaneous section is the analytical reading inventory, or the ARI. This is a standardized reading inventory that can help us gather a lot of important information about our students. The ARI is like any informal reading inventory. It has grade level passages and comprehension questions. Directions for finding the ARI can be found on the cover of this sheet. It is in our Reading Language Arts U-Drive site under Assessment. One popular assessment is the Give One, Get Six idea. This is an easy way to find out many things about a student using one passage from the ARI. You will find the worksheet in the miscellaneous section. Some of the things you can assess using this idea are oral reading fluency, expression, accuracy, comprehension, and miscue analysis. You can also try the Give One, Get Five, which tests the same thing minus the ARI comprehension questions. Several teachers requested an organizational system to help keep track of the standards. Each grade level will find a folder called Checklists 1 through 4 color coded. This form has been conditionally formatted so that you can put in a student's score and the color coding will automatically appear. One is red, two yellow, three green, four is blue for beyond. This system can help you group students for instruction and it can help a grade level figure out which students still need extra help in learning the standards. I know you will need more time to explore this information, but our hope is that we might be able to give you a brief overview so that you can find items that might be helpful to you. The information we've shared to this point was shared with you on September 1st. The next section is our current work. We know that there is still a lot to do, but we've been working hard to develop rubrics and assessments to help you to assess the priority standards. This is where we are to date. This is the new information that you will find in the report card folder in the U Drive under priority checkpoints. As I mentioned earlier, each grade level has priority standards. These are indicated by the yellow and purple highlighting on the teacher marking guide for the report card. We will have common district assessments for these priorities. The priorities will be assessed during various trimesters. Teacher teams work to determine when to assess which priorities, and each grade level has a document like this one indicating when the priorities will be assessed. You will find your grade level priorities with a guide to let you know when to give a district assessment. It might be useful to think of these assessments as priority checkpoints indicating a checkpoint to see how our students are doing towards mastery of the priorities. Writing teams have been working hard to develop district checkpoint assessments. We wanted these to have a uniform layout so the top of each assessment is organized in the same way. 
and if a specific text is to be used with the assessment, this is indicated above the rubric. Each assessment has a 1 through 4 marking rubric to help guide teachers. These rubrics show what the students need to know, understand, or do to evidence understanding of the standard. Below the rubric, you will find the student assessment sheets. Whenever possible, the teams try to use generic formats so that you'll be able to use these over and over and with different texts. It is critical to realize that all the standards are important and need to be taught and assessed. Our hope is that teachers will continue to develop quality assessments for all the standards, but the district will only be doing common assessments for the priorities. You will now find a Priority Checkpoints folder that will have the grade level assessments by trimester. We have many of the district common assessments done and we will be adding the remaining assessments as they are completed. Our goal is to check to see if students are on track with the high priority standards. These will be tested with the MCAs and these are high leverage and important standards. Assessment is ongoing. District checkpoints are just one assessment and only test a limited number of standards at one point in time. All standards need to be taught and assessed. Various assessments can be used through PLCs, grade level teams, or individual teachers. Thank you so much for your patience and your support as we work together for student learning.